Weekly Q&A Live. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Anne Murphy, the blog coach. And today I want to just talk quickly about your Instagram bio and how a lot of bloggers and business owners are finding it hard to reach their audience and grow a following on Instagram. And I think if you can get your Instagram bio right, uh, it will certainly help you um, do that, grow your audience, grow your following and get people back to your website because that's ultimately what we're trying to do with social media. So the first thing I, I wanted to talk about was that bloggers are finding it really hard, some business owners too, to um, do this. They, they're not feeling like they can reach out to people on Instagram. Um, they're just not getting it, not getting it. They're not, um, um, they don't understand how it works. But just like any other social media platform, the ultimate goal is to get people back to your website. So with Instagram, you've only got 160 characters to deal with in your Instagram bio. So that bio needs to be short and to the point on exactly what you do and how you can help people. Now, a lot of bloggers' profiles that I see, with no disrespect, they might say, um, mum, mum of three trying to do her best lives in Boise, Idaho and loves chocolate chip cookies. Well, if that's if you want to keep your blog personal and tell people a little bit about yourself, that's fine. But if you want to make that transition from blogger to business owner, you need to be very, very clear on what you do and how you can help people. So using that example, you could write instead easy recipes and simple routines for busy mums. And that's really all you have to say. In that, you can use um, hashtags that are relevant to your niche in your bio. So busy mums could be one hashtag, easy recipes or easy meal ideas. Remember, you, you don't want to be competing for those um, really large hashtags that have uh, 5,000 or 500, 5 million um, followers you know look for hashtags that are uh, have numbers of 500,000 or less so easy meal ideas or um, simple routines anything that describes your business you can use hashtags uh, you want to you can also include emojis that describe what you do so you could um, you know whatever your business is you could find a, a related um, emoji that kind of creates a picture, a visual image of what you do to help people. You can include whether you're a website or a coach or um, Instagram has that option to select what type of Instagram account it is. You can also include a branded hashtag. For example, in my um, blogging website, Domesplicity, I use a um, hashtag called um, domestic goddess, which is attracting um, people in that niche. So um, I include that. You also want, uh, I can't stress this enough, um, avoid using landing pages like Linktree or Smart Bio or any of those others that you see. Instead, create a page on your website called Instagram or links or whatever you want to call it. It's just a brand new page. And on that page, you're creating a bit of a sub-menu, I guess, of all the areas of your website where you want Instagram visitors to visit. I always include an email sign-up form at the top, whatever I'm promoting at the time, or whether it's just my, my overarching email opt-in, always at the top. You can um, say read my latest blog post, uh, sign up for my monthly newsletter, uh, visit my shop, um, check out my recipes or whatever, you know, half a dozen different options on your Instagram landing page. And you, you can be very strategic about where you send people because if you're sending them to a landing page on your easy recipes, you might have for sale um, an, a recipe book. So you know, using this, these opportunities to drive more traffic but also make more sales. 
Now, um, the thing is, when you include a link to a blog post if you, in your Instagram bio, when you then want to go and uh, change that, your Instagram post could be three months old and someone could discover it um, three, three months later, go to click on your bio to find it, and you've since replaced it with another um, blog post link, it's not going to be relevant. So you can always write in your Instagram captions, um, click on my link in bio and head to my cake recipes. Uh, click on the cake recipes or head to my bio and read my latest blog post. Now, it might be three or four down, but people can scroll through if you direct people to your blog feed. So be very, very um, particular about the link that you provide in your Instagram bio and make sure that it's a landing page on your own website because you deserve that traffic, not Linktree or Bitly or Smart Bio or any of these other um, landing page platforms. So the other things that you can include on your Instagram bio are directions. If, you're, um, if your business is in a particular area, like it's a storefront or a business that you serve like a mobile mechanic or whatever whatever your um, area is that you're servicing, you can include directions. So you can include a map to where you're located. You can also um, include an email link so people can email you directly from your Instagram bio. And you can also um, include a booking link. So if you're a coach or you a hairdresser or uh, you know, you need people to make appointments. You can include a booking link. I know um, Acuity integrates with Instagram. Calendly does as well. So whatever booking um, scheduling system that you're using, check to see if it can integrate with Instagram and people can book directly from your uh, link in bio. So um, one of the features of Instagram is that you can um, you need 10,000 followers to have that uh, feature to swipe up in your Instagram stories. So until you can get to 10,000 followers and take advantage of that great feature, you need to be utilizing your Instagram bio as best you can. Um, put your name in there, put your personal uh, picture or your brand, uh, your brand logo. Be very succinct as to what you do and how you can help people. Uh, include emojis if you like, relevant hashtags to your niche and include that link to your um, website, a landing page on your website where you can get people, to direct people to where you want them to go. A sign up, a home page, your latest blog post, um, a new course, your shop or whatever. So that's it from me today on um, your Instagram bio. I hope you found that useful and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.